Happy New Year and welcome to this month recap. Busy as ever, December was full of interesting scientific breakthroughs. I presented a Christmas special about how reindeer sleep while they are eating. There were also the newest findings from the Juno spacecraft observing Jupiter, and down to Earth there was the artificial intelligence-driven robot chemist who discovered 41 new materials in just 17 days. But these breakthroughs were not even the most impressive according to the number of viewers and likes. We are now going to look what were the top 5 video of December, starting from number 5, Compact Particle Accelerators. Particle accelerators, like the Large Hadron Collider seen here, are essential for fundamental research in particle physics. However, these devices are immense, spanning kilometers, and come with exorbitant costs. Wouldn't it be great if they were much smaller? Well, back in 1979, two UCLA scientists proposed a theoretical design called Wakefield Laser Accelerators, offering a much smaller alternative. It took over 40 years of hard work and numerous commendable attempts. But finally, a team of scientists just recently reached a major milestone and unveiled their compact Wakefield Accelerator, only a few meters in length, yet capable of generating an electron beam with an energy of 10 billion electron volts. To put this in perspective, a conventional particle accelerator for such high energy would need to be at least three kilometer long. I visited the CERN once, that is actually one of my personal photo here. It is very impressive to see such huge scientific equipments, but it is even more impressive to see that scientists have been able to reduce its size to just a few meters. However, I think it is not yet ready to replace the large version because I have various concerns. For example, reading the research article, I'm not super convinced regarding the quality of the output beam and whether it can be used for characterization. At least the authors of this article don't mention it. Maybe they plan to write a follow-up article about it. I will keep an eye on this research field as I think it is quite cool. But let's get moving to number four, soft elephant trunk-like robot. This is the latest soft robot designed at EPFL in Switzerland. Drawing inspiration from the natural world and biology such as elephant trunks and octopus tentacles and perhaps a certain Spider-Man antagonist. Our clever scientists have crafted a one meter long robot arm, boasting an innovative trimmed helicoid structure. This design grants improved precision and compliance, ensuring safe interaction with humans and our environment. This robot could be used for a wide variety of tasks, but being a Swiss invention, it was first put to the test in the kitchen, assisting with the preparation and feeding of a traditional Swiss cheese fondue. Bon appétit. It is far from the first time a robot is inspired from elephant trunk or octopus, but the novelty of this version was in the trimmed helicoid structure which enabled a significantly better control. It is more precise and versatile than previous versions. The feeding fondue might not be the most urgent and important task this robot may be able to do. The videos I showed were just a few examples of what this robot can do. You can check out the original research article for more. Every references are in the description. But let's get moving to the number three, the harmonious dance of the exoplanets. 100 light years away from us, there is an orange dwarf star called HD 110067, and orbiting it, we find six exoplanets larger than Earth. It is one of the most interesting solar systems scientists have ever discovered, because it was revealed last week that these six exoplanets are orbiting in a chain of resonance. That is when planets' orbital periods are proportional to each other by a ratio of small integers. These six planets are in a beautiful perfect harmony. One or two planets being in resonance is common, but six is extremely rare in the universe. This means that this solar system has remained undisturbed since its formation over a billion years ago. Astronomers are now buzzing because further investigation could hold key clues about the less known early stage of planet's formation. I love this discovery and loved making this short video. There's only about 1% of solar systems that are undisturbed, and this is the only one found with, with six planets. Even if it is not the most viewed YouTube shorts of December, I may do a longer video version to discuss it more. Feel free to write a comment down below if you would like this. In the meantime, let's see what do we have at number two. This is intelligent assistance in cars making us less social. Cars are becoming smarter with various intelligent assistants to be semi-self-driving. But does this assistance change our social behavior? To test that, researchers had this cool idea, getting people to play chicken with toy cars. Players online were facing each other and had to race to the other side of the track as fast as possible without bumping into their partner's car. 
and their cars had either auto braking or auto steering enabled. Results show that drivers with auto steering drove significantly less carefully, accelerating instead of taking turns and communicating. This suggests that some artificial intelligence tools might be making us less social. With the rise of AI and self-driving cars, which usually focus on totally other types of challenges and dilemma, this experiment was really nice and highlighted that we, human, might still be the main issue. It gives food for thoughts. Anyway, let's go to the most important, most viewed video of December 2023, Molecular Jackhammer's Cancer Treatment. Scientists have proposed a groundbreaking method to destroy cancer cells nicknamed molecular jackhammers. It consists of aminocyanine dye molecules anchoring to the cell and vibrating when stimulated with near-infrared light. Just like a jackhammer, the vibration destroys the wall of the target cell. First demonstrated on mice, this method killed 99% of cancer cells without the need for surgery. This innovative approach marks a significant leap in cancer treatment offering a faster, non-invasive and highly effective solution. A promising new treatment indeed. Many viewers were a bit skeptical that it will ever be available for the general public, but I am more optimistic because the dye used is relatively cheap and biocompatible, so moving up to human might not be too difficult. I will probably dive more into this topic in the upcoming few weeks, so stay tuned to hear more. Feel free to like, share, comment and subscribe, and see you tomorrow for more breakthrough.